Katie Morton is one of the biggest mental health YouTubers on the platform and she just released a brand new book, but is it worth buying? What is up everybody? This is Chris from The Rewired Soul where we talk about the problem but focus on the solution. And if you're new to my channel, what I like to do is pull different topics from the YouTube community to try to teach you how to improve your mental and emotional well-being. So make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell. But today, we are going to be talking about one of the other mental health YouTubers on this platform, arguably one of the biggest ones, Katie Morton, the licensed marriage and family therapist herself. You might know her from a little series called The Mind of Jake Paul, which stirred up a little bit of stuff after her episode. But I've been watching Katie since, I don't know, since I got onto YouTube and I wanted to see who else was doing mental health stuff. So it was super cool when I found out she was releasing this book and I just finished it. So yeah, I just wanna kind of explain what the book's about without giving spoilers. There's not really spoilers to the book though. But yeah, I, I just wanna talk about it in case you're wondering what the book's like. But anyways, real quick funny story. So this book came out on Tuesday and I've been waiting for it. I've been waiting for it for a while. I actually tried to email her management team to see if I can get an advanced copy, but I was too late. But yeah, I went down to Barnes & Noble, uh, Tristan and I did, um, the night before it came out. And I asked them like, are you gonna have this book available? And they said, yeah. And the girl actually said, like they already had it in stock, but they couldn't sell it to me because the release date was the next day. I'm like, oh crap. So Tristan and I, usually when we go down to the bookstore, we'll like check out like the psychology section and just see what other mental health books are out there. And then here it was, it was sitting out there the night before the release. <laughs> so I picked it up and I started reading it um, either that night or the next morning, I can't remember. But yeah, I'm an audiobook person. So I actually downloaded this book, which is narrated by Katie Morton over on Audible. So if any of you want the audiobook, like, like it's really cool. I will say that because I listen to a lot of audiobooks and a lot of audiobooks come out sometimes weeks or months after the hard copy comes out. So it was really cool and it's, and it's narrated by Katie. So if you watch her videos, it's kind of like just listening to one of her videos with this book. But yeah, anyways, let's talk about this book. So are you okay? Like I didn't know what to expect when coming into it. Um, one of the first questions I had was like, who is this, this book for, right? Like, who is this book for? So the first thing I will say is this book is not for me, but that's not a bad thing, all right? This book is phenomenal, like absolutely phenomenal when it comes to helping you understand mental health versus mental illness. Like, that was one of the first things that I really loved about this book was Katie talking about mental health versus mental illness. Like, that's something I'm really trying to teach people on my channel, even though I don't talk about it that much, is that mental health does not just mean the lack of a mental illness or some kind of psychological disorder. Like, mental health involves like managing your anger, managing your emotions, managing your relationships. And the book kind of starts out with like separating those two. She talks about the stigma. She talks about why she got into therapy and all sorts of stuff like that. Like, the main audience that I really think should pick up this book, like I know I do a lot of books about going to therapy, like you should get therapy, 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 therapy. Like Katie Morton does an excellent job in this book of like helping you feel comfortable going to therapy. Like most of this book is answering a ton of your questions about like, setting up your first appointment, what kind of therapist you should look for, knowing what the different licenses means, like the difference between a marriage and family therapist and a social worker, the difference between a psychiatrist and a psychologist, you know, like there's so much information and like, this is important. Like if you're somebody who is looking to get help for your mental health, you should know who to go to. Katie also does a great job, like, giving you tips on how to find the right person. Like just for example, she talks about how some therapists out there say that they specialize in like 50 different disorders, like eating disorders, addiction, you know, uh, depression, anxiety, like they talk about all these different things, but they're just doing that to get the most uh, clients in. But like she gives you some tips on how to find out if they really specialize in, in that field, if they're really the right person for you. So like, even at the end of the book, she talks about the different levels of care, like the difference between like, you know, who needs hospitalization, who needs outpatient, who needs an intensive outpatient. Like this will help set your mind at ease before getting therapy. Like I think that's primarily the audience that this is for, but that's one of the benefits of Katie Morton being on the platform. Like a lot of this book 
is like some of her videos that kind of just explain the process to help you feel more comfortable going to therapy. She also talks a lot about from, you know, a therapist point of view. Like there's a lot in there about boundaries and like one of my favorite parts in there was, uh, and this is just because I've worked in mental health treatment, where she talks about like why they do 50 minute sessions instead of an hour, right? And she kind of like explains it like, we have to put in notes. Sometimes we gotta go get something to eat. Sometimes, you know what I mean? Like she explains that because so many people get angry, upset like, my, my doctor, for example, spends a lot of time with me answering my questions. So when my doctor is late for my appointment, I know it's because she's spending time with somebody else. So I really think it helps give you another view. So like, because therapists are humans too. You know what I mean? Like when all that backlash happened with the Shane Dawson series, like Katie came out and made a video like, Katie Morton is a human too, you know? I also think this is this book is great for anybody who is considering becoming a mental health professional. If you're thinking of becoming a therapist or a social worker or a counselor, whatever it is, I think this is very, very good. Like in this book, like you'll like, you know, it's not like, you know, all of your schooling, but it's a great like crash course to kind of get the information. She talks about how much schooling is required for different licenses and things. Katie also has some good tips on how to find the right therapist and should you get a new therapist, like kind of what you should be looking for. And something that she kind of dives into is like, knowing if you should stick with a therapist. And something I like that she touched on real quick is that she talks about how sometimes it's gonna take you time. Sometimes it's gonna take you more than one session to know if you click with that therapist. So one thing I will say like, so first off, in case I haven't made that clear or if you're new to my channel, I am not a licensed therapist or anything. I'm currently in school. Um, I've, you know, gone through my own mental health stuff and overcome addiction and everything, but I have worked in treatment. I have worked with clients, more like peer support type stuff. But anyways, what I will say is, like for example, Katie Morton and I have two very different styles of working with people, right? And and I think it's important that you you figure out who's the right person that you work with as a therapist. Like Katie is much sweeter than I am, right? Like a lot of you who know me and have been subscribed, like I come from that kind of tough love angle. I've seen I've seen Katie get a little tough on some people before, but um, but yeah, she's a lot. So a lot like sweeter and kinder, and some of you need that, right? Like me personally, like I need somebody who's a little bit harder with me, gonna call me out on my crap all the time and like kind of like shove it in my face, you know, like that kind of like, it's just what works for me. So like, that's kind of a difference. So like some of you are subscribed to both me and Katie, so you see the two different styles of the way that we talk to people, but like she gives you some great like tips on how to find the right therapist and to know if this therapist is the right person and if you should stay with that therapist. All right, a lot of that, you know, is the positive things. I don't really have much negative to say about this like I like I said this book is you know a lot of stuff that I just already knew you know about you know therapy and schooling and the different levels of care and different treatment methods and everything but as far as like the the content of this book so the first like eight chapters I believe discuss like you know therapy and helping you understand what it's like and actually it's the first seven chapters and then chapters eight and nine Eight and nine are about relationships, right? So that that to me is just, it kind of like messes up the flow of the book and maybe I'm just being picky, but like it goes from like, you know, just educating you about like what therapy is and the treatment process and you know, how to find the right therapist. And then it kind of like just starts giving you some like tips. Now, now don't get me wrong. There is some amazing advice in here about toxic relationships and like, you know, um, there's some parts in there about dealing with like crappy coworkers. There's some very great advice. For me, it just didn't seem to flow with the rest of the book. But like I said, it's like the last few chapters of this book. One thing that I will say is interesting is like, some of you saw that I did a reaction to Katie Morton doing like couples therapy with Jason Nash and Trista, Trisha Paytas. And like, it was interesting to me because when you read this book and how much Katie knows about toxic relationships, I'm like kind of sitting there thinking as I was listening to that section, I'm like, it's really, it's really intriguing. Like, because like Katie didn't call them out on a lot of stuff that she talks about in this book. Now, I will say this, like, there's probably reasons for that. Maybe a YouTube video isn't the right place to call Trisha and Jason out for all their toxic behaviors. But in this book, like going through it, like, Katie kind of recommends that Trisha and Jason should not be together. But overall, like, would I recommend this book? Like, 
Gauging by my audience and seeing your co uh, your comments, like absolutely 1000% yes. Like a lot of you who know me, I'm really big on like support groups and stuff. That's why we have the Facebook group and the Discord server and all of that. But like a lot of you need to work with a professional and Katie talks about that in here. If you read this book, like whether, whether you've never been to therapy before or you've had a bad experience with therapy, but you need therapy, like get this book. It will help you feel more comfortable. You'll you'll understand it a little bit more. She has tips and advice if you feel that therapy's not working. And she also like talks about some like journaling exercises and some coping skills for in this book. So like, this is a very good book. Like if you are watching this video and you're part of my audience, like I do think you should go out and get this book, either like the, the physical copy or it's actually on the, Kindle, like my book, uh, <laughs> and it's on the Audible version as well. But anyways, I would love to know all, all of your thoughts down below, like just on therapy in general, like have you had good, bad experiences or anything like that? Like, let me know, talk to me, or, or let me know if you're a subscriber to Katie Morton, how many of my fans are Katie Morton fans, and how many of you think that Katie Morton should tweet at me and we should uh, do a collab together? Let me know down in the comments. <laughs> Anyways, that's all I got for this video. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you're new, make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell. And a huge, huge, huge thank you to everybody supporting the channel over on Patreon. You are all amazing. And if, in case you didn't know, I have a brand new book out over on the Amazon store as well, but both the books will be linked down below. Check them out. All right, thanks again for watching. I'll see you next time.